Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen with me, King's Ransom. Uh, so last time we started exploring our first big real dungeon, the Water God's Altar. We were This is one of our uh, story missions. We were tasked by Sir Maximilian, who is kind of our, our quest boss, the guy who's telling us what to do right now. We were tasked to come... Ex uh, well, we were given four different things, four different quests, and I decided to... I already did one of them, uh, involving a stone tablet. This is the second one that I have chosen to work on. Uh, we were told to help uh, the priests, the members of the church. We were supposed to help them, uh, you know, protect them, keep them safe, whatever, as they explored some ruins. So uh, the party had already gone to the ruins, so we were supposed to meet up with them. We get up here, and... Oh no, there's monsters! Something bad happened! You should go in there and rescue all the others! That was what the dude said when we met outside. So, here we are, we're exploring. Uh, we went down over to the left there, we fought some Saurians, and uh, upon defeating them, we got the missing lever here, and I used the lever, and it uh, dropped the bridge, and now we can continue exploring. So here we are, um, I believe... Monsters are uh, we have a new flavor of Sorin here. Oh, no. uh, there's some sort of uh, mage up there, like skeleton mages or something. So those are alarming because they can knock me off into the water. Uh, but what, what I was actually about to say is I think maybe like the brine, the thing that's preventing us from entering the water in the game elsewhere, uh, is in the water here, also. So I think there's that to worry about. Yeah, and then that guy just died when I knocked him into the water, so that's fantastic. And there's a Saurian down there. Can I kill it? Yeah, it looks to be just kind of stuck in the water there, which is okay. I have no qualms about that. So here we are. Um, I'm, I am going to be exploring. You can see there's like some items on in, around here. Uh, there's a ladder over there, but again, there, the water is high, and the, the water is home to the brine, which is not like an, a creature or an enemy that we can defeat, but it's kind of the game's mechanic for... And I can't quite get over there. It's the game's mechanic for uh, preventing us from entering the water and from exploring. Kind of... It, it, it keeps us, like, on the island and gives us some boundaries. Now... Uh, here are some Saurians, the giant lizard men that we've been fighting. Uh, they're not super tough. We've been fighting them for a little while now. I believe they're going to be the main enemy that we fight in here, at least for a while. Actually, I don't know that there are many other enemies in here. So I'll pick up his tail. Again, water. There's a ladder over there. Just things that we can't really deal with at this point. Oh, there's a chest here. That's good. Dragon spit. Now, let's see. I believe... Boy, it'd help if my pawns weren't, like, constantly running ahead of me or getting in the way or moving around. Let's see. Ah, there's another chest there. And this is an important-looking chest, so I'm going to open it and see. Ring of Azure. That is... something. What does that do? Ah, heightened your resistance to ice. Uh, I am greedy, so I'm going to equip that on my main pawn. Or my main character. Me. Me, right here. Mina. Um, th there's... It's always good to have stuff on your pawns, of course, but it's more important that I don't die, because if I die, it's game over. If they die, eh, I revive them. Like, not a huge concern. Now, I think, especially with my double jump, I'm I, you can make all these jumps without the double jump that I have. Yeah. I'm a rogue. I'm just, you know, insurance. Just want to make sure I can get this on my first try, if possible. All right, so this is kind of the important, obvious, like, hey, you should probably go here area, and a big, important-looking chamber. So naturally, I'm going to explore a little more first. Be wary. I 
Uh, let's shoot some arrows at his tail. Okay, and then he fell off into the water as well. And it war uh, Saurians, I believe, can survive in the water, unlike the skeletons that we knocked down there. I don't know if he can get back up, though, or if we can hit him again. Yeah, he he's kind of... Oh, he jumped out. Okay, that's interesting. Somebody just yelled about a Cyclops. Oh, boy, and there's the Cyclops. Yeah, I was hoping that we could avoid fighting him. <laughs> Not avoid him altogether, but I knew that he was... Uh, he's kind of like the, the boss of the area, and uh, I was... Okay. That was why I didn't want to go into that area first. Oh, well, we're going to go deal with the Cyclops real quick. Uh, maybe. Let me grab the Saurian's tail. Eh, maybe not. Can I get my pawns over here? Do a little bit of mining and treasure hunting first on this. A bat. There you go. Uh, looks like Milu's... Uh, okay, there. He's he's catching up. Hopefully the Cyclops will go back into his room, because I don't want to fight him out here where there's water that could kill us and narrow ledges that we can fall off of. Things like that. Awesome. Some rocks. I believe these are, yeah, poison vials of, or vats of poison we can fill our flasks in. I'll take that. Don't really know why anybody would have just a poison, like, vats filled with liquid poison laying around. Seems kind of absurd to me, but, you know, whatever. Um, ah, <laughs> and there's just a, an easy way to get back over here is just take a left where I took a right from the beginning. So, not bad. Uh, let's see, do we have Mr... Yeah, the Cyclops guy is just kind of hanging out there. A Cyclops That's okay, we can probably pick away at him here. It doesn't look like he can actually get to me. Um, so this guy's not armored, so he's going to be even easier than the ones that we fought previously. Um, I'm referring to the Cyclops that we had to fight near Bloodwater Beach in my uh, side quest video. We were doing our little escort quest. So we broke off a tusk. That's good. Those we can be pick up, and they are um, like crafting materials or treasures that we could sell, depending on what we want to do with them. I also lit him on fire, which is fantastic, because I think he's just going to stand there like an idiot and be on fire for a bit. Uh, it would be fantastic if Lucy would put her fire enchantment back on me. Alright, I think I'm... This is boring, so I'm going to try to run past it and see if we can get back up into that room. Alright. And I can climb up on his leg, and I'm going to peck away at his leg with my Scarlet Kisses attack. Um... Because if we if we keep attacking him on his legs, he'll kind of lose his balance, and then we can actually knock him over. Okay, awesome. And uh, Lucy actually did something fantastic. I'm gonna I need to get some more stamina. Uh, actually, I th think tools a brick. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna eat a couple saurian tails because they are very very heavy and they restore a good amount of stamina. Um, so. We should, if we can get him to stop flopping around there. There we go, that helps. Uh, the directions and stuff are kind of wonky when you're climbing on creatures. It's kind of hard to position yourself and go in the right direction. Uh, I would like to get on his face. There we go, so I broke off his other tusk. That was one of the things that I was interested in accomplishing. Uh, can I hit him? Yeah, there. Got it. Grabbed on his face. So now I'm going to wail on him with my Scarlet Kisses attack. As a rogue, as a strider here, and I need... Uh, actually, he's almost dead, so I don't need any more stamina. Yeah, there we go. Cutscene! See, that's where we were supposed to fight him, was back there in the middle area. Um, as a strider, I can use my... Uh, Scarlet Kisses attack when I have climbed up on an enemy, as you saw. I was making great use of that. It's fantastic. You can do a tremendous amount of damage to a very targeted area. So very good for those sorts of large creatures who have... What is this? 
A monk's remains. We best this way. This. Uh, dead monk. That's what that glowy circle was. That's uh, one of the monks we were sent in here to find. It looks like he's toast. Uh, he was cyclopsed to death. Um, yeah, so great, great class. Um, Dagger-based classes, including like the assassin. Like you can equip the uh, the daggers with an assassin hybrid class, whatnot. Um, there's gonna be like a lot of rotten food and whatnot in here. Uh, I don't know that there's actually gonna be much in the way of useful items to loot. Um, but yeah, these these dagger these classes that can use daggers very fantastic for climbing on big creatures and doing a lot of damage to targeted areas. And most of the big creatures have some sort of obvious weak point. Like for the chimera, when you want to chop off the you want to either kill the goat's head or chop off the snake tail head thing on the back of the chimera. Um, these classes are great for climbing on them and doing that. Uh, mages are you know a bit tougher to aim and. Uh, warriors, kind of, they just melee whatever's in front of them. They're good at, like, hacking at legs and stuff, so. Yeah, um, that was pretty easy. Uh, there are a bunch of chests here. There's also an item that we need to pick up that the Cyclops dropped when he died. Uh, it's glowing, and it has, like, a glowing swirl effect in front of it. Rotten fish, excellent. All sorts of just nasty rotten food in here. Let's see, I don't remember. Aha, there is a ladder on my minimap. I like a rotten pumpkin. All sorts of weird rotten food. Um, there's a ladder that we can climb down here, I believe. What's this? Yeah, so we'll go explore that in just a minute. I'm gonna go I'm gonna pick up some more nasty gross rotten food, and then we're gonna go uh Back up here. Yeah, so here's where his corpse fell, and then here's the uh, the key to the Water God's Altar. So if you remember from the last video, um, before we encountered the bridge that was missing its lever that led us here, there was a closed stone door that was missing something. There was a, a, a shape, a hollow, an indentation where an item could be placed. Well... I think it's a safe bet that we just got the item that could go there. Uh, I'm going to explore this way a little bit. Copper ore, and that's the only item you're going to give. That's fantastic. Okay, yeah, so... Um, it looks like we can't go any further because there's water there. And water is a pretty good barrier to progress in this game. Uh, it, it's, it's a good wall, for lack of a better term. So with that, I think there's not really anything else for us to do here. Oh, well, there's a Saurian somewhere. Saurians in this area like to, you know, like hang on walls or something. There's not one up there, but they, they like to hang up high. And then drop down on you to ambush you. Okay, and that's still just our friend who keeps uh, spazzing out in the water, it looks like. Might as well just finish him off. We're not going to get any of the loot that he drops, but that's okay. We at least killed him, got some experience. More importantly, got some discipline. Uh, I am still kind of casually working on leveling up Lucy in the class she's in right now. She is a sorcerer. So Lucy cannot cast any actual curative spells, but she can cast uh, the enchantments, like the fire enchantment to enchant her weapons and whatnot, and then a lot of offensive spells. Uh, unfortunately, nothing like new or interesting in the way of offensive spells, at least not yet. Those will all come later. But she gains a lot of magic attack power when she levels up, and that's good. And like some new augments and things that'll be very useful for us. Or for her. For us, our party as a whole, but the augments affect her. Also, there we go. This is the new it, or slightly more advanced Saurian. These are the striped Saurians. Uh, they can turn invisible, as you probably saw in that fight, although that fight went by rather quickly. Um, I believe we'll be running into a few more of them in here. Also, I'm going to uh, do the classic inventory shuffle again.
Don't need to be carrying all this stuff around. Oh, well, it's going to over-encumber whoever I give it to. I'll give it to Milu. I don't like Milu. Yeah, and I don't want to give those to anybody. Alright, that's fine for now. I... Probably gonna want to eat something or use some curative items because my health is getting a bit low. And I'm going to do that now before I forget. Um, I'll just eat some large nuts. We have a lot of them. And now we don't have any large nuts. Hooray! Ah, there's one right there! He was on the wall right next to me. Uh, same as fighting other strat Saurians. They have a bit more health, I believe. Yeah, we got a striped Saurian skin or scale or something. Uh, good. Good, 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 good. Um, same strategy. They're just, they're just Saurians still. They're bigger, they're a bit tougher, they can turn invisible-ish, but, you know. Chop off the tail and then beat the crap out of them with your weapons. Pretty straightforward. We got a big open area over there for us to explore now. I don't know why I'm picking up all this stuff. I don't need these rotten pumpkins. I can definitely toss those. Don't need you, you're rotten. Don't need you, you're... Oops. You're rotten. All finished. Don't need you, you're rotten. I believe rotten food will, like, poison you if you eat it. And even worse, I believe if... Um, if your... Pawns have rotten items in their inventory, and, like, let's say they have, a like, a rotten fish or something, and they run out of stamina, you know, they'll go through, like, their normal fish first, but if they don't have any normal fish, if every, the only, like, stamina recovery or health recovery items they have are rotten, they will eat them anyway for the sake of recovery and, like, poison themselves in the process. Okay, and this one's a mage, so we need to take care of that one first. Alright. So that, I I'm pretty sure that's a skeleton mage right there that I'm attacking. Um, we've encountered a couple of them so far throughout this dungeon. They're just what they sound like. They are skeletons and they are mages. So if you have like a like a mace, if you're a class that can use a mace or a hammer or something, some sort of like blunt brute force weapon, uh, that's going to be very effective against them. Holy magic is going to be effective against them. That's why uh, Lucy casts that on me, probably. There's a the water. button. Cool, giant stone button that drained the water for us. Uh, the mages are irritating. They can do a lot of, uh, like, they, they do a lot of magic attacks. They can do, like, ice attacks and fireballs and stuff like that. And they're just, they're irritating. And as... My character, like right now, I do not have very high magic defense. Um, we haven't really encountered many magical enemies in the game. These are kind of our first. So I've been focusing pretty exclusively on focus on uh, increasing like my physical defense. Now, Lucy as a mage has a good resistance to magic. She has a good magical defense just anyway, better than most of the other classes. Because that's what she's been gaining as she levels up. And I'm very heavily encumbered again. That's a problem. Uh, so she has pretty good defense, and then also beyond just like what she's been gaining from leveling up, uh, her equipment, um, just like mage's equipment, has naturally more uh, more magic defense than physical defense. So she can't really take much in the way of actual physical hits, but she has very very good magic defense. So she's, you know, going to do quite well against uh, these skeleton mages and whatnot. But the rest of my party, not so much. Right, so we now, after all that, and let me just check my map real, real quick. Yeah, okay, so that button was the only thing that we encountered down there. There's nothing else important in this particular room. But now we've lowered the water level. So there's going to be a bunch more of the dungeon that is available for us to explore. Like, this area here was um, blocked off because of the high water level. Also, I believe this ladder 
this will pop us out um, right near the bridge. Yeah, so here's the bridge that we lowered. Uh, the lever we got over there, I've already pointed this out once, but then over here on the other side, this area was flooded. We saw just right at the beginning of the video, even. And uh, now we can access this place. I'll eat. So here we are. Now we are on the basement floor. Human bones that move on their own. And there's skeletons. I'm going to apparently one-shot that skeleton. Just take it out in one hit. I, I'm okay with that. Uh, we can get, like, some fish and whatnot. I don't really care. Always good to have stamina recovery items. Especially in areas where you know you're going to be fighting a lot of enemies. Conqueror's Periat. Let's see some more fish hopping around over here. I'll just grab a couple. I'd like it if my party would grab some of those, but... Yeah. Ah, these are slightly more, like, armored, heavy-duty skeletons. They still go down just the same. They're still fairly easy to deal with, but... You know. They are uh, slightly more advanced. Okay. And got hit by a fireball before I could do my attack. Dang it. Awesome. Whoops. Eh, green Marsh, I'm okay with that. Let's see. There are some chests over here. Or at least a chest. Cleansing earring. What is that? Whoops. Oh, and we have two of them. Resistance to poison. Um, and I have two of them. I'm going to give one of them to Lucy. I'm going to... Okay, so I can have two pieces of, of jewelry. I have the Baleful Nails right now, which increase my... something. My offense. Ah, they give me ten extra um, offense... Both 10 physical and 10 magical um, offense. And that is fantastic, and I would rather have that over defensive stuff. This will increase my resistance to debilitations. So, um, I think I'm going to equip this instead of the Ring of Azure, just because poisoning can be a nuisance, and we can get poisoned from fighting the, uh, what's called, the Saurians in this area. So, let's see. Back here is something. Cyclops strategy. I'll talk about these strategy scrolls later on, probably in one of the next couple of videos. I have been I have picked up a fair few of them, so I might as well use a bunch of them if I can. I'm gonna climb up here. Tiger Bangle. Don't know if that's good or not. Don't really care. Deal with it later. So this, we saw earlier, um, this area was flooded, I pointed it out, out there. Uh, the, the, uh, you'll, you'll see. To my right, through this open door, oh, altar slate. That's what we were after. Oh, we're gonna need, I think we have to get a bunch of these. Riding on it must be deciphered. Crap. Alright, we'll give it to Magnus, because he can carry it and not be overly encumbered. Um, that's the main room out there that we had to traverse where we just kind of where we've been exploring after we uh, we lowered the bridge. That's where we were fighting all the Saurians and whatnot uh, that were like dropping down on us. Ooh, and I made it. Yeah, so this area out here. And the water level used to be raised, and then now we can go down there. That's where we just were, because we have lowered the water level. So that's exciting. Also, there's another ladder right there. Yeah, that's the area we just went down, so we can get up above it here. That's exciting. Another chest. Another tiger bangle. And then we can drop down here. So there's a lot of, uh, a whole heck of a lot of places in this dungeon where you can hop up and down between the various floors. Uh, that's where we came from earlier. That's another way back up. Stuff there. I think this is just another way back up. 
Oh, there's bats up here, so I haven't actually been this way yet. I forget exactly where I'm supposed to go, and I think there might be some more quest items I need to pick up. Well, I'm not positive. Yep, there it is. Uh, Alright. Magnus, you can be my pack mule. You can hold all of them. I am probably going to have to do something about my inventory, but that's not going to stop me from picking up all these extra items. Because uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, so that's this room. I have no idea how many of those things we need to pick up. Brother Jean lost his life in the ruins. Haslet must be told. We could go back and tell Haslet. I think I might as well finish exploring first while we're here. I think he just asked us to come back in here and get these uh, altar fragments. He might tell us how many there are, but eh. We will just keep hunting until we don't find any more, and then that's how we'll know we're done. Oh, what the? Ah, this is a phantasm. Can I please? Okay. Uh, somebody hit that thing? There we go. So I'm being possessed, that's what that is. I can still move around. I think it will eventually, like, finish its possession. Like, I think it takes a little bit of time. Oof. It's doing, like, a lot of electric or thunder damage or something to me. It's kind of unexpected. Uh, all right. Can I please hit this thing? There we go. There, that did a lot of damage. Again, very nice to have these weapons that are permanently doing fire damage because it will let me hit these phantoms. It's giving me some extra magic damage. Which let me hit these phantoms. Uh, whereas, like, Milu and Magnus right now can't do any damage to these phantoms or these phantasms unless they're possessing someone. Uh, normally, they are immune to physical damage. Oh, good grief there. Grab, somebody hit it, please. Alright, well, this is... That looks like we might be done. Oh, another altar slate. Good grief. Might as well load up the other pawn. <laughs> They're all just going to be super, super slow as we get out of here. Luckily, I don't depend on them to be able to transition between areas. Okay, so we went to the right there, I believe. Oh, this is the room where we fought the skeleton mage. Oh, there's something back here. Probably going to be another one of those altar slates. Seems to be what we're encountering most, yeah, in these uh, special chests. Best we prepared well. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to do something about my inventory. We haven't fought many more sword. Oh. oh, another cyclops there. It looks like. Can I hit him in the face, please? Yes. There we go. He wasn't like an actual boss Cyclops, so he didn't get the boss multiple health bars treatment. Uh, that's why he went down so quickly. Also, hooray, a bunch more heavy crap for me to carry around. A bunch more herbs for me to pick. I'm just ruining my inventory management right now. Chaff stem, I believe that's a new plant. I don't think we've encountered those. And then, of course, there's going to be more things that I can mine in here also. It's going to be problems. Yeah. Uh, oh, maybe not. Did I already come down here? I might have already come down here earlier. Oh, yes, there was water blocking this off. Ah, ha ha That's exciting. And I think this is the last... Let us go back and report. Yeah, I think that's the last slate. So we are now all completely over encumbered. That's okay. Uh, let's see. I think we can just climb back up here. 
Luckily, being over encumbered only prevents you. Like, it, you know, you're, I'm slow. I'm moving very, very slowly. Um, but it doesn't actually prevent me from running or jumping or anything like that. Like in the the Fallout, like the Bethesda Fallout games, like Fallout Three and Fallout New Vegas. If you over encumber yourself, you can't move quickly. You can't fast travel. You can't do anything like that. So luckily, this game isn't as punishing in that regard. It just will prevent me from picking up any additional items now that I'm fully encumbered. Uh, and it, oh, it slows down your stamina recovery speed a lot. So your stamina is very, 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 very slow to recover. So hooray, I got to make use of all these fish that I have in my inventory. Which will help me get out of here faster. Well, with that, um, be, so because my pawn said when I picked up that last tablet, is that like a snake or something? <laughs> was a snake there. That's cool. We need to kill a bunch of snakes. Um, when I picked up that last tablet, my pawn said, hooray, let's go back and report. Like, that's a good indication that, hey, you are seeing I can't pick up that scrag of beast. I was just hitting the button to pick it up. Um, which means I'm just going to run out of here. No need to hang around in here any longer. Um, when they say something like that, like, hey, we should go turn this in, congratulations, like, that's a very good indication that you are actually finished with the quest. Um, even though we don't know how many tablets there are in that instance, the dialogue was helpful. Alright. And I used up the last of my stamina again, which means more fish. Well, and here's the, uh, a cave entrance hides behind the forest. here's the monk who asked us to go in there and find his buddies. Jean? Dead? I... I see. I... I do not wish his death, please. Might you survey... See, now he's asking us to go back and survey the ruins on his behalf. Comfort in sea. And I think such as these often house engraved slates and other ancient texts. Some have held revelations of vast importance. Of times, age will splinter the slates. It is critical you So he asks he's asking us to look for all the different fragments of any important text, any important slates. We just so happen to already have them. I've gained quest knowledge. As the slate is joined together, the text becomes clear. I will not rest until its meaning is deciphered, sir. For the sake of Brother Jean, the faith will see it done. In that, you may believe. Cool. Do we get a little cutscene here? You have my thanks, Arisen. I shall break the sad news of Brother Jean's sacrifice to Father Jeff. He's got the slate himself. pieces on that cart there that's being it hauled no away. Fault of yours, sir. You've done your duty by us well, as the Father shall hear. Pray, do not let it weigh upon your heart. Go and tell Sir Maximilian of our success. Cool. And so with that, we have our second story mission down. So that is quite exciting. Uh, I am going to end this video on that high note, and Feel more familiar with this quest we're now. probably going to go turn this quest in in the next video. So thank you for joining me, everybody, and I will see you later.